Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God for today, the 26th of May. And we are going to say first, our final farewell to Mr. George Manson. The Bible says to everything there's a season and there's a time. There's a time to be born, there's a time to die. And we don't have a time to live. Every second that in our life is a blessing. If you just bury somebody at East Fiji Cemetery, I know the Ghanaian. And so with me is Pastor Kingsley. Uh, Okay, so I ask you to make the <coughs> opening song and worship and uh, shall we be on our feet? of this service. We give you praise and we give you glory for what you have done for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Come. you. Sit down, please. Uh, from here, we'll be going to West Ham Cemetery where you will be finally the lead. We will thank God for what you, what you, what you have been doing. We have not gone through the challenges. You have to go and bury another family in Ghana that have been around in the hard work. And the Lord will reward you. Say amen. 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 And I think he selected uh, two readings. And the first one I like is, I don't know why uh, he selected this reading. The first one is John chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. We know John 3, 16, uh, the position you to dance. And he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his holy begotten son that whosoever. Believe in him, should not perish, but have eternal life. 17. For God did not send the Son into the world to change the world, but that the world should be saved through him. Amen. Amen. Father, 18. He who believes in him is not judged. He who does not believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the Holy Begotten Son of God. That's what he chooses. It's good. Amen. I'll just 
let's sing all this uh, song, which is always sung every time we are broken. And that song we like it because uh, it gives you an assurance that you have made the commitment. All we are experiencing in life is that God has preserved us so that we can be the reason to do it. We recently have been to a young man that the whole net called each one everywhere, everybody was going, oh, how can he die and everything? Then we talk about life. Man, one of them, one day we are going to die. During the pandemic, we experienced a lot of things. But still now, the, we are getting out of it. I think we are forgetting that uh, we are only passing through here. We are not here forever. So I always sing that thing every day on my program, and we all join to sing Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a Till then I would not proclaim with every fleeting breath 
I mean, the music of that day refresh my soul. Amen. You invite uh, the one who's going to read the theology to come. Uh, the biography of the Sacrament. of the late Mr. George Mensah. If we live, we live for the Lord. If we and when we if and when and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. This is from Romans 14 verses 8. Mr. George Mensah, also known as Kwame Natichi, was born on August 1954 in Kumasi, Asantini town, to Openi Kwabla Lensa, also known as Mr. Suda, of Pechi number two, and Obahima Ya Sewa of Seria Obaso, both of blessed memories. He was the second born of his parents. Kwame started his primary education at State Primary School from class one to six. He furthered to State Boys School from form one to form four, where he wrote his final exams to gain his living school certificate. <coughs> After completing his form four, he joined his father, Mr. Kwabla Mensa, also known as Mr. Sada. Apologies if I didn't pronounce the name right of um, Kumasi magazine, where his father had a car spare parts shop. Being at his father's shop for some time, his mother took him to live with his auntie, Auntie Mary of blessed memory, to stay with her in Accra. Kwame stayed with his auntie Mary and her husband, Mr. Ochre, for a couple of years in the late 80s. He joined his father's car parts business in Kumasi Magazine. After working there with his father for some time, he then moved to the UK to pursue his dreams. In the UK, he worked for, many com for a few companies, including Gloucester Hotel, where he was one of the managers for many years before he started his own company. After working for some time in the UK, he started his own company, exporting goods to Ghana in the 80s. Kwame was a kind and respectful person throughout his life, till he became ill this year and passed away on the 23rd of March, 2022. We are assured to our Christian faith that he is resting in the, box, in, in, in the bosom of the Lord. Demifadri Yari Afa yeah, Ray, Afferi. thank you. Um, the year, Obaya Aba. Oh. Amen. Yeah, now we're very careful here. Hallelujah. Let's stand up and observe the minister for this wonderful man. The minister is. Mi wumi ma 
Tribute from the cousins. Rest our dear cousin, formed by Michelle and Alexander. Even though you are gone away, your love will always be here to stay. You touch our hearts with so many things. God knew you were the one to save. He took you away, he took you home to get some rest, even though we love you best. Our hearts are filled with so much pain. God loved you, you more. There was no shame. At this time, we must let go. Your memories will keep a flow. Rest our dear cousin with peace of mind. Your memories will live on true. Kwame, we cannot find words to describe our inner, innermost feelings about your sudden departure, which makes our tears flow like a river 
from up here. You are a true cousin, very kind hearted, caring, loving, and kindness will forever be remembered. There is not much to say as we are completely shattered. We are trembling by your death. We feel inconsolable and highly grieved. We wish we had the opportunity to bid you farewell for you, for you to know how much you mean to us. Kwame, rest in peace, dear brother. Rest in internal peace. When peace like every and my way. When so roll like sea below Whatever my Lord that comes from me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul. So loved the world, he gave. The, the greater person who had lost things was God. God created heaven and earth, and the time came, he lost his minister for uh, music, and which is Lucifer. And Lucifer always uh, took one third of the heavenly angels. Who was on the losing side? God was losing. But God came and showed love. In this world, we have to show love. In that why God said, let me go and sacrifice my own soul. And through him, through the day of Jesus, many, many people are coming. But said, God did not send Jesus to come and, and, and just criticize and reject people. And so, so scientific. When I came from Ghana, you know the spiritual things in Ghana, the spiritual holiness, and I became the chair of Tottenham Christian Council. And one day they drop a letter that we are going to uh, lunch, and it's the moon, 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 uh, bar, moon, uh, is it? Of lunch. I started to say, Abdumewu, moon. Hey, I invited uh, the lady to party for I said, I'm not they said we are going to eat. 
I said, off lances. How can I go there? So when I was driving, I have to park about three streets and say, let's walk. Because if Ghana people see my car park here, <laughs> they will bury me. <laughs> and as I was contemplating first, I said, how can we go and eat at pastors? You said the moon restaurant. But when I entered the restaurant, I saw people are drinking, enjoying, and the pastors also have the thing. Oh, Frippon, what do you want to drink? I said, I, I, I did that. <laughs> I said, Mama, Lord, we are experiencing things. These are all ministers, yeah. they are doing well. But why are here? And we are sorry that you do that. Jesus did not come to judge people. He came to live among them. The Bible says the word became flesh and what? And dwell among them. We are always looking to people, looking down. They are people, they are sinners, they are drunkards, they are uh, uh, prostitutes and everything. And when we point a finger, we four fingers are coming to us. You know, you see the way they welcome us. I was standing there and said, hey, if I park my car sometime somewhere, because if any Benin sees me here, it will be a newspaper. I saw the uh, uh, Bishop Repon and <laughs> turned the monster red. That's where. So the love that Jesus, Jesus came to show love. And that's why we are here. Now, when Mr. George is going, you have to show that. Many, many believers, we have become uh, judges. I'm born again. I stand at the door. I do speak in tongues. You are not welcome here. You put people off. One experience I saw when I came to live on Broadway Farm, my age is here, my girl also. You know, nobody, even somebody told me, a white man said, Why do you come to live here? I said, I don't know anything. Being from Ghana, so you don't know where they kill the police and everything. I saw this guy standing there and everything. And I made myself holy. So I drive from uh, Tottenham to Bristol. Every time I come, somebody's door has been broken into. Somebody has been robbed. And they, somebody, oh, Bishop, somebody, I was robbed. I said, no, I have not been robbed. And when they, they broke into my flat, why I was in the church in Bristol, I came down, I have a pay phone, they got through a window, there was blood, because they in three bedrooms. I, I saw about 10 police officers in my house. I checked everything, not a penny was taken from my flat. The doors have been opened. And the Lord said, what I, I, They asked me, Why? I said, I can't have a testimony that I was going to church and I've been robbed. But what the Lord said to me that, you walk past people here. It's like a good Samaritan. Somebody is in need. And the, the Levi saw, Oh, I'm going to church. My time is not with. So he left the person. Pastor was so clever. A Samaritan is not somebody with the respect. The Samaritan went to him and said, Can I will help this man to survive? This is a dying world, a dying world. The world we are living is dying. We need to show love. We need to show love. That's why I like whatever you choose. It's good. Our brother. The father, son, they are in home. Within the pandemic, we lost giving. We lost 10,000 Ghanaians. We are doing a memorial service for Ghanaians. We should have done it here, but we are doing a water farm on Sunday. Sunday, we go, we came here and we recorded almost 600 Ghanaians within the two years. 